This is Fantasy Baseball Today from CBSSports.com. This is an exclusive presentation of Fantasy Baseball Today for CBS Local Sports. We're here to help you set your lineup for Fantasy Week 22. Adam Azer, Scott White, and Al Melchior with hitting and pitching advice. We're going to start with Scott, who says Michael Moore should be in your lineup in Fantasy Week 22. Why not? I mean, he's hitting 455 in his last 11 games. We saw how good he can be when he's hot. Just look at what he did in April. Also, the Giants have favorable matchups this week, four games against a terrible Rockies pitching staff, and all of those games at home. Morse, for whatever reason, much better hitter at home this year, 317 batting average, 882 OPS. What reason do you have not to start him, Adam? Don't look at me. Tell me. I'm starting him. Okay. Start him this week, baby. You should. Saw this hot streak coming. Keep it going. Yeah. Al, how are you feeling about uh, Francisco Liriano? Well, you know, I'd like to have a reason, a legitimate reason not to start him because he's just frustratingly inconsistent. He was horrible the last time out, but I, I cannot ignore the six starts just before that. The control was good. He held opponents to a 250 slugging percentage. And this week he gets two starts. He gets, and they're both home starts, getting the Cardinals and the Reds. Great matchups right now. Yeah. So it's, there's just too many pluses uh, for, for Francisco Liriano right now to, to ignore. Who, who would have thought we'd be saying in in August, two great starts, I know, right, yeah. against the Cardinals and the Reds. <laughs> Jed Jerko, Scott, you want to start him? Yeah, let's talk about him. He, he doesn't have the greatest matchups, unlike Mike Morse, but 341 with two home runs in his last 10 games. And, and we saw from him as a rookie last year, he's the kind of player that when he gets hot, he can single-handedly carry your team, just have a four-homer week, a five-homer week. You, you never know when it's going to come, but I think he's showing signs of it this week. Uh, with the hot streak and uh, I wouldn't want to bench him now if I had held on to him all this time and risk missing out on a large percentage of what he could deliver for you. Brandon McCarthy has two starts. The matchups might, might look a little scary but Al says don't worry about it. Start him. Yeah, no, the matchups, particularly for McCarthy, I think if you talk about McCarthy 1.0 this season, <laughs> it's very scary because he's giving up so much hard contact earlier in the year. This year, uh, or this year, the, the, the past couple of months, really, that's, that's kind of dissipated, and particularly since McCarthy's come to the Yankees, he's been able to handle pretty much all comers. So I uh, trust him uh, this week and, and pretty much uh, any week going forward with uh, two starts uh, in, in on the schedules. At Detroit and yeah. at Toronto. We now focus on the players you should sit in Fantasy Week 22. Josh Hamilton is one of them. Yeah, if you're looking for an excuse to sit him, you don't feel like you can because there's too much name value there or whatever, this should give you reason here. His matchups, he has a series against the Marlins. He faces Henderson Alvarez in that. A series against the A's, he faces Lester, Samarja, Scott Casimir in that. Notice a couple lefties in there. Plus, all those games are at home. All seven of them at home, where he's a 252 hitter with a 627 OPS on the year. So, yeah, go ahead and sit him. It's about time. Michael Pineda has two starts. And on the surface, this one might seem a little interesting at Kansas City and at Toronto. Tell us why you're sitting Pineda. It's pretty much the Toronto uh, matchup. That worries me for Pineda because there's certainly there's been a lot good there lately. The control has been pretty much spectacular. Uh, the strikeouts haven't been there all, all along, but he's, he's got that uh, potential, certainly. Uh, and I think he'll, he'll handle the Royals just fine. But the problem with Pineda is just if you get him in a good hitting environment against a really, really good lineup, I think he's highly vulnerable. And uh, that, that could spoil two-start week for him. Hey, Carl Crawford is uh, having a little bit of a throwback right now. He's hitting very well. But week 22, you should not start Carl Crawford. Yeah, it does seem like a hot hand play with a 485 batting average in his last 10 games, but only two extra base hits during that stretch. So it's basically all singles and steals that he's contributing. And while I, I'm, I could say I'm skeptical of the performance to begin with, throw in the fact that the Dodgers are playing only five games this week, what singles and steals need to measure up to a home run hitter in fantasy is time. And five-game week, uh, two left-handers during that stretch, so there's a chance he could sit some, too. I don't think he's going to get the time, even if he does stay hot, to make a real contribution. How about Chris Tillman, Al? This is uh, probably not going to be a popular recommendation, but I think it's one that, that owners need to pay attention to because Tillman is... In terms of results, he's been great. The last 14 starts combined, 231 ERA, but uh, I still don't trust it at all. Um, this is somebody who is still a fly ball pitcher, 
Still a contact pitcher, even though there have been some strikeouts in recent starts. A 6% whiff rate over the swings and misses, whiff rate uh, over these 14 starts. That's well below average. So skill-wise, Tillman hasn't really stepped up to be an above-average pitcher, even though he's had above-average results. Sooner or later, the bottom's going to fall out for him. All right, Al. Thank you very much. Scott? It's Al Melchior and Scott White. You can go to fantasynews.cbssports.com and check out their columns. They'll break down all the starts and sits for you. I'm Adam Azer. This has been an exclusive presentation of Fantasy Baseball Today for CBS Local Sports. Thanks for watching, and good luck in Week 22.